Time now for the mix, and we start things off with a very important scientific discovery. Okay. You ever wonder why you're constantly losing socks, you yes. end up with odd pairs? Yes. Yes. Well, some scientists got together, they figured it out. Okay. A psychologist and a statistician <laughs> teamed up to work out exactly why and how you are constantly uh, losing those socks. As if they had nothing better to do. Nothing at all, and they figured out a formula for it. Surprisingly complicated. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? I, I know thought this might be it, but I dropped the A. The L means laundry. <laughs> then there's something about the number of people living in the home, how often you wash, how many uh. types. But anyway, supposedly, if you work this whole thing out, it will predict how frequently you're going to lose a sock. You've got to be. Can we, pre can we just... That could be pure gibberish, and they just put it out there saying they're not going to know the difference. What do we know? It's a bunch of letters. Not only can I not <laughs> do the calculation, I can't even go through the trouble of figuring out what everything stands for, and it's right in front of me. Yeah, what does C mean? But um, thank you for dedicating uh, your scientific expertise to yes. such an important uh, field. Yes. Study. Now on to world hunger. Um, <laughs> Okay, now, now let me show you this. That's hilarious, by the way. It doesn't help me find my socks, but there's no, a formula. No, it's just going to tell you how often you're going to lose them. Great. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Hey, let me show you this. This is really kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you guys like the Audi Q3 here. Very, very nice car. Well, they've got a new model. This is a, this is a concept they have for a new car. Check that out. Ooh. This is a little compartment that mm -hmm. will hold a little motorized scooter. So you know how when you have to park really far away from your destination? can pop that baby open, jump on the scooter, and ride right in. It goes 7.8, 7. yeah, 8 miles per hour. Excuse me, it goes up to 18 miles per hour. It takes wow. a charge for over seven hours. It's wonderful, and actually, you can clip your cell phone onto it, so it can use an app that the car has to help you find your destination on the scooter. Cool stuff. I don't yeah. know. I don't. I don't think I want a car with an extra vehicle added to it. It doesn't seem like they're very confident like, in the first one that you're buying. But if you're like a mile away because yeah. you had to park so far away, just zoom right in. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. I don't know where you park Hold that, but that's a whole other thing. Um, and then back to really important scientific discoveries. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, we have a plant in Britain. Looks like a regular normal plant, maybe a cherry tomato plant. Ooh. However, see that cherry tomatoes on the top, potatoes on the bottom. It's called the tomato plant. <laughs> And in Britain, they're saying it's the ketchup and chips plant, a.k.a. the ketchup and french fries plant. Grow everything in one. They say it's for people with limited garden space. That's fantastic. I like it. Okay, one more thing. Real quick, you want to break up with your sweetie? Send them one of these. Put up one of these pictures. There you go. Send them a pie like that. Eat your heart out. That seems mean.